Hi there, I'm Sean Sandrock and I'm a sophomore here at Eureka College studying political science and history with a pre-law emphasis and music vocal performance and I'm going to be showing you around campus today. This is Burgess Street, which separates the academic and residential sides of campus. Let's begin our tour here at Dickinson Commons, which is one of our two eating establishments here on campus. It's set up like a food court style, which offers substations, a grill station, pizza, and even a home-cooked meal. We also offer lots of vegan and vegetarian options here on campus. This is Burgess Hall, which houses our social science and business classes. It also contains our professor's offices and student classrooms. Built in 1891, Burgess was originally our library, which since has moved across the street in 1967 to our new library. Did you know, on the third floor of Burgess, we have a new creative design lab, which is designated to all of our art students. This is Malik Library, which has many resources here on Eureka College's campus, including upstairs cubicles, the gaming room, which is a lounge area, downstairs classrooms, and the Ronald Reagan archives. Did you know that President Reagan is a Eureka College alum? If you can't find your book here in the library, we're fortunate enough to be part of the iShare database, which consists of 90 libraries that will find your book and send it here. You may be wondering what classes are like here at Eureka. We usually have a student population of about 500 students, which allows for a lot of individualized attention in the classrooms. Our student to professor ratio is about 13 to 1, which allows students and professors to really get to know each other. We are now coming up on Venom Binkley on my left and Sanders on my right. Ben and Binkley was built in 1917, right at the peak of World War I, and Sanders was added on in 2014, with the use of 100% donations given to the institution. This building was awarded Leadership and Energy Environmental Design, which focuses on Sanders being an eco-friendly structure. These buildings are classified as our math and science halls, which house classrooms, professor's offices, and a few science labs. This is Pritchard Theater, which was built right around the same time as Venom Binkley and was originally our sports complex here on campus. The main floor was the gym and the basement was our swimming pool where President Ronald Reagan swam as a freshman here on campus. This building is now used for our fine arts classes. Eureka College also played a role in World War II. Enrollment was down due to war efforts and we were looking for a few new ways to bring in some cash. The college found a program where we could house Nazi German prisoners of war here in the United States. So Pritchard Theater became a holding place for prisoners of war where they would walk down the street during the day and work at the canning factory. The building behind me is the chapel, which is a very historical building here on campus. It is home to our music department. Downstairs includes classrooms, professors' offices, and practice rooms. Upstairs you will find McAllister Hall, which is where many students perform today. This is the stage where Ronald Reagan gave his first ever speech on behalf of Eureka College's student body. This is the hall where President Reagan discovered his speaking ability. In his 1982 commencement address, he stated, everything that's been good in my life began here. Our oldest building behind me was built in 1858. Our administration building, Burris Dickinson, includes the President's Office, the Provost's Office, the Business Office, Alumni and Development Office, and some staff and professors' offices. If you look at this side of the building, you may notice some things when we reach the other side. Eureka College was founded in 1855 by a group of abolitionists that belonged to the Disciples of Christ Church. We are still associated with the Disciples of Christ Church, but we are now a multi-faith campus and we welcome all here. Did you know that we were the first institution in Illinois and the third in the nation to admit men and women at an equal basis. Now if you look at the opposite side of the building, besides the fire escape, you will notice that both sides are exactly the same. This building was here before the town of Eureka had even been established, so they didn't know which way the town was going to expand. So they decided to create two front entrances. This is the Ronald Reagan Peace Garden, dedicated to the life and legacy of President Ronald Wilson Reagan. You will see here a bust of President Reagan, as well as a significantly large piece of the Berlin Wall, which commemorates President Reagan challenging Mikhail Gorbachev to tear down this wall. The garden is a great place to chill out and enjoy the outdoor environment here on campus. Eureka College is the smallest institution to graduate a United States president, which goes to show that all students at Eureka can dream big and fulfill them. We are now looking at the Surf Center, where there are many resources useful for everyone, especially incoming students. This is the Ronald Reagan Museum, which holds over 10,000 artifacts of President Reagan's life here at Eureka. 
Some were even hand-selected by Reagan himself. The Surf Center also includes the Career Service Center, Becker Auditorium, the Office of Student Life, and our college bookstore. Our final stop in the Surf Center is our second eating establishment here on campus called the Burgoo, named after a stew. The Burgoo is set up more like a store or a restaurant, unlike Dickinson Commons. Some of the students' favorite meals here are cheese sticks, chicken wraps, and Starbucks coffee drinks. While we walk over to the residential side, some students who live close may be wondering, commute or not? About 40% of our students here at Eureka are commuters, which means that all parking on campus is free for all students. Built in 2012, Arnold Hall is our newest residence facility here on Eureka College's campus. These are our most spacious rooms on campus, which is nice when sharing it with a roommate. Arnold Hall consists of five wings that each house upper class residents. Each wing has its own study lounge and larger social lounge with a TV. Every room on campus comes with a bed, chest, desk, bookcase, chair, and closet for each resident. Arnold houses two of the three sororities on campus. The rooms also include great ethernet access and high-speed Wi-Fi as well as geothermal heating and cooling. Arnold also includes a full kitchen and lots of additional lounge and study space, including a media room on the upper level that is perfect for group project work and has a printer free for student use. Behind me is Langston Hall, which is an upperclassman residence facility that offers suite style living. Langston is co-ed by suite and is set up with two single person rooms that share a toilet and shower in the middle but have their own sinks in their rooms. It is convenient for upper class students who would like to live in a quieter environment. Each floor in Langston has a large lounge area with a TV, study, and social space. The lobby area has a couple computers and a printer for student use. This is the Reagan Athletic Complex dedicated to President Ronald Reagan and his older brother Neil who also attended the college. Our gym is completely equipped with stadium chairs, which means every chair has a back. We are the only NCAA Division III school to have this luxury. Upstairs, a classroom, some event rooms, and many coaches' offices. The Bonatti Fitness Center is offered free to all students who would like to exercise using machines. Even commuter students have the access to this facility free of charge. Last in this building, our weight room, which is full of new equipment as of fall of 2019. Just outside the Reagan Athletic Complex, we have our football and soccer field, as well as our baseball and softball diamonds. The football and soccer field was converted into AstroTurf, and it also includes a Megatron. Here at Eureka College, we have many different athletic teams that compete throughout various times of the year. To my right is Founders Court, which is predominantly a freshman residence hall. Both of our freshman residence halls are set up to be limited occupancy so students can get to know each other and create a community value. Founders consists of four separate buildings that are all connected by stairwells. Darst, Deweese, Ford, and Myers. All of our residence halls have access to laundry areas that are free of charge for all students. Founders Court residents use Ben Major just next door for additional lounge space and a large laundry facility. We are now at Alumni Court, which also houses all incoming freshmen. These rooms are comfortably sized for two roommates. Be sure to check your packing list before you come to campus to see what items it is suggested that you bring and what items are not allowed on campus. Connecting both alumni residential buildings is our learning center, a great resource to use if you want help with writing or any course, or you could help here by becoming a tutor. The learning center is also a great place to study and is open 24 seven for student use. This is Ben Major, named after the man who owned all of the land that Eureka College now sits upon. This is a recreational building here on campus, which gives the students opportunities to chill out, play games, or even watch TV. To finalize our tour, behind me is Guns and Hauser Hall. It was built in 1929. It was extensively remodeled, but we strive to keep the 1920s look with the original wood floors, doors, and pedestal sinks. This concludes our tour here at Eureka College. For more information or to schedule a tour, please visit us online. We hope to see you soon.